welcome back to another tying video. Today we're going to tie a dry fly and I know that's something new on the channel but I do use dry flies and you guys should too. Like always I'm going to give you guys three reasons why I like this fly so much. Reason number one is that it's a quick tie and I know this is kind of a common theme across the channel and the flies that I use is that you know it's only four materials. You have a wing material, a thorax, um, dubbing, you have a thread body and then you have the tail and that's all there is to it. Um, and you can tie it in like a bunch of different colors with just those same four materials. And you have, uh, you know, a fly that'll work kind of across the board um, and it's really fast. You can fill your box real quick and the fish like to eat it. That's reason number one. Reason number two that I like this fly is that it floats and it's fairly easy to see. So the wing is a synthetic material that doesn't absorb water. And you're going to see that when we tie this thing, it looks like a fly that probably wouldn't float very well, but it actually does because of that wing material. Um, that wing material takes um, floatants really well, and so it'll sit up high and, um, and, and float, and you'll be able to see it. Um, even though it looks like it would lay pretty flat on the water, it actually sits kind of in the film and kind of on top, and it's really easy to see, and it, it'll float for a long time. That's reason number two. Reason number three is that because this, this fly has so few materials in it, um, it is really easy for the fish to get in their mouth. There's not a lot of bulk. And so your, your, you know, your take rate to hook up is, um, is pretty high with this fly. The fish are able to get it in their mouth. The materials collapse on themselves when they smash it. And it's almost like they're just eating a hook. Um, and so your, your, you know, your percentage of hookups goes up because of that. It doesn't have deer hair. It doesn't have any of those materials to kind of add bulk um, to your fly. So those are the three reasons that I like this fly. So let's get into tying that fly right now and see what it's all about. Okay, so I got my hook in the vise. I'm just going to attach my thread here. Get that started. Trim that off right there. Okay, gonna take our thread all the way back to where the barb would be. Just about like that. And then we're gonna come back forward real quick. Just a little bit back there. We're gonna take our single strand of um, crystal flash here, double that over the thread just like that. Capture it up on top. So now it's in there if I let go. Pinch that on the top. And then I'm going to run my thread back over the top of that all the way back to where I was at the bend of the, the hook. Pull this back. I'm going to take one more wrap. Yeah, right about there. Pull this forward just like this. Pinch it. So you can see it's even with the, the eye of the hook. Trim. That's how we're going to get our length of our tail. So now our tail's in place. Now we're going to spin our our bobbin counterclockwise to unwind our thread a little bit and then we're going to kind of so that our thread is flat and we can create a smooth body we're going to kind of create a body here out of thread taper it a little bit doesn't have to be perfect bring it forward just like that so i tie this fly in a bunch of different colors this is a bwo version which is olive um, I, but I pretty much used the same color um, wing for this fly, which is a salt and pepper. So basically how I do that is I take some white EP fibers and some black EP fibers and I take a chunk of that and then I just kind of in my fingers, I break it up and I just kind of go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, switching around until those colors are kind of blended. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then I get this kind of black and white um, wing effect that I like because I feel like it looks a little bit more natural if you look at these bugs kind of how their wings look so this is a pinch I'm not gonna count the fibers you're gonna have to kind of you know this is a size 16 hook in the vise you're gonna have to um, vary the amount you use for the um, the fly that you're tying so this is a size 16 um, and I'm using about this mint this much I would use less if I was using a smaller fly or tying a smaller fly. So I've done that same thing. I've folded it over. I'm going to capture it up on top, just like this. I'm going to make a few like um, securing wraps up on top of that, 
just like that. And then I'm going to figure eight this. So I'm going to kind of twist the wing back just like this. So it's kind of twisted. You can see that. I'm going to make a few wraps over the top. And then I'm just going to kind of counter wrap this back and forth. So now it's, it's almost split flat like a, um, like a spinner, but we're not going to leave it that way. So now that we're there, you grab this from the bottom and pull it up like we're going to do a parachute. Okay, and then I'm going to make a few wraps, um, let's see if it'll cooperate here, um, around the base of this, just like a parachute, to kind of get it to stand up a little bit. So now our wing's kind of standing up, right? At this stage, I'm going to take my dubbing, and this is an olive dubbing. Um, sometimes I'll do this in a, like, in a hair's mask or something like that if I want a little bit more buggy appearance. So this is a tight dubbing that I like, dry fly dubbing, just a little bit on the thread. And then we're going to basically do the exact same thing that we did with our thread, but now with, get a little bit more dubbing on there, uh, but now with the dubbing on our thread to create that thorax. So we get that thin noodle there, just kind of go back and forth kind of figure eighting that until we have that like thorax done that's looking pretty good a little errant wing there so now we just kind of build up a little bit of a head on the front there of our fly um, we're gonna go ahead and whip finish this a few times and I know I said this was a quick tie and I don't know how long that was, but that was pretty quick. Cut our thread off. So now we have to trim the wing. That's all that's left. I kind of pull these forward like this. And I want the wing to be the same size as the body or the same length as the body. So I'll just kind of measure it up. And I cut back at an angle like this a little bit. Just like that. And then I'll push this back down and I'll take a look at it right like this and then I come in with my scissors and I kind of give it a, a little bit of a haircut like you would if you were at the barber so I'm angling the scissors straight up and basically all I'm doing is EP fibers are not a natural material and so they have a tendency to look a little bit um, straight edge and it kind of look, can look fake sometimes so I come in here and I just clean that up so that I get this kind of like natural looking wing and the beauty of this fly is that it's really actually a lot easier to see on the water than it looks when you tie it and it kind of has this spinner look but also an upright look and it's a fly that you know I find the fish don't refuse that often um, if they're on duns or spinners they seem to like this fly a lot so that's the BWO thread body dry that I like to use tie it in a bunch of different colors black for a midge brown you can do a calabatus you can do a bunch but um, I really like this it's natural but it's still got some spark so give it a try